It's time for Ludum Dare, the 48 hour game jam competition. And I'm making a game about using your shadow to control people. I actually tried this idea five years ago, and then again two years ago, neither of which really went anywhere. Well, let's see if third time's the charm. I started by working on the main mechanic of manipulating the player's shadow. You can capture enemies by mousing over them, and your shadow will snap to their position. Okay, now I've limited the shadow length. Well, sorta. But at least the enemies copy my movements. Now to make some levels with this mechanic. The player is going to start in a small caged area, and they have to manipulate the enemy to get onto the button to release them. Alright, now I have some actual player and enemy sprites, and the shadow length is correctly limited. Since the main limit on the player is their shadow length, I decided to give them some balloons on some levels that extend their reach. I've updated the player's cage sprite and the background. I almost forgot since the theme of the jam is summoning, I should probably tie things back into that. It still felt like something was missing here, so I decided in the last hour of the jam, let's add a new mechanic. What could go wrong, right? I decided to add these yellow upside down enemies that give a ton of reach to your shadow, and they do the opposite of your movement. I ended up making three new levels with these guys, and there weren't any issues. It was a bit rushed though, so the difficulty curve kind of just drops off. In the end, I placed 122nd overall, and got a whopping 26th in innovation, I'll definitely take that. If you want to try the game yourself, you can play it in the browser, link below. If you want to see what I make in the future, make sure to subscribe. Other than that, thanks for watching.